Rumours are coming in that Apple will be announcing a new 10.5 inch iPad as soon as spring 2021. This new iPad will have an A13 Bionic chip and it will also have 4GB of RAM. It's going to be a replacement for the budget iPad, it will be the ninth generation and it's also expected to have a lower price point at about £299 or dollars. And the current budget iPad has a 10.2 inch display, this new iPad will use the iPad Air free um, design and chassis so it will have a larger display with thinner bezels it will allow Apple to reuse the parts from the old iPad Air this could also mean it will have a laminated display the first budget iPad to actually have one and a long-standing complaint from many people despite the cheap price point the storage will also be increased from 32 gigabytes on the base model to 64 gigabytes and this source says it could come as soon as spring but don't expect that to happen so quickly the current 8th generation was recently announced this year so you probably won't be getting a refresh of that iPad until September next year. Flight Simulator is coming to the Xbox Series X and S. Microsoft has now confirmed that. The 4K real-time gameplay was showed off and it looks amazing. It will be coming in summer 2021 if there are no more delays and the company says that it will only support the new series consoles not the Xbox One lineup. It won't be available on the older consoles due to how graphics intense it is. We can see that on the PC version you need a very good high-end PC and graphics card to use the full quality settings and Microsoft also says it will look very similar to the uh, PC version of the game. A spokesperson for them says expect the same level of depth as the PC version allowing you to experience the most authentic and realistic flight simulator we have ever created. I'm really looking forward to this game and I'll certainly be buying it. Let me know if you are in the comments. Older 29 watt chargers sold by Apple won't actually work with the MagSafe Duo charger. For those of you that don't know, the Duo charger lets you charge an Apple Watch and an iPhone at the same time and you'll need a certain plug for it to work. Apple recommends you use the 30 watt charger which replaced the older 29 watt charger and has newer power profiles and technical specifications than the 29 watt one. If you use the older 29 watt charger you'll only be able to charge an iPhone or an Apple watch not both at the same time which is really the point of the charger. You'll need at least a 15 watt charger for the duo and it certainly won't work with the 5 watt one which is the older one that used to be included with the iPhones from a few years ago. The 30 watt charger it is $49 from the Apple store so you can get that if needed. Um, it is a pricey purchase the Duo and I'd really be careful um, about what you're buying if you don't have the exact specification of plug required. Also note that the Duo does not come with a plug in the box and you'll need to buy that separately. Another confusion to add to the MagSafe Duo charger. Xbox game streaming will be coming to PC and iOS in 2021. The company did again confirm that it will Will support PCs via the Xbox app which is built into Windows 10. It will work on all Windows 10 PCs because it relies on streaming and an internet connection rather than your PC's hardware. If you have an aging older PC you'll still be able to stream using the servers from Xbox um, and it won't have an impact really on the performance of your computer. On iOS Apple isn't allowing the game streaming platform into the App Store because of its regulation so Microsoft is releasing it as a web app and you'll be able to to use and stream games on your iPhone or iPad from the browser. It's annoying because Apple's recently updated policy says that they can only release a streaming app into the App Store as a catalogue app and all other games that would be streamed through the app need to be uploaded as an individual application into the App Store. So it will be too much work and a very bad experience for the user. Finally, I found this quite funny. Johnny Ive is being considered as the future CEO of Ferrari. Johnny Ive was the designer at Apple. He designed things like the iMac, the iPhone, the iPod Touch and loads of more Apple products. He's one of the best designers in the world and he did leave Apple last year to start his own company called Love From. Um, he's now being looked at as a potential candidate for the uh, CEO position of Ferrari. The previous CEO, Luis Camilleri, stepped down on Thursday, although Ferrari says there isn't any rush for the CEO position to be filled, and they're also looking at Apple's current chief financial officer, Lucas Maestri. So a few people from Apple, um, Johnny Ive in particular, is very notable for his uh, perfection in design, and we've seen that from products like the iMac 
and the iPhone and so if he is made in charge of Ferrari, is he, if he is the CEO, I think the cars could have significant design changes to match his design style and his perfectionist style but I don't think that will really happen, I don't think he's really fit for the uh, CEO of a company but much rather the head designer or product um, manager of Ferrari. So let me know what you think about this in the comments because I'm unsure about how it would really benefit Ferrari apart from the design aspect of it obviously. Um, also let me know if you think any other potential candidates could be good.